Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm uh, just left the truck. It's, let me see, 520? I don't know, something like that. It's daylight. I should have got out here a little bit sooner. I wanted to be hiked up way upstream before this time of the day came around, but the way it's looking right now is that I'm just gonna have to do the hike at this time and blast up to where I want to fish. See what I can make happen. Got a chartreuse and gold on right now. The number four blade. It's not really huge. Oh, it must be hitting the head of the branch. Um, but it's a good enough size to start up with. I don't know what's gonna be going on. I'm on a deer trail here. This is real fun. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna blast up in here. And when I finally get to the spot, I'll turn that camera back on, guys. So see you shortly. I step over this tree right here into these rocks really quietly. Sometimes there's fish in this spot that'll bite. Uh, but this is right on the edge of the public access. So there's no saying if there's going to be any fish sitting in this spot, actually. Yeah. Fish on, boys! Fish on already! Second cast. Well, technically second cast, but we got a fish, man. Check it out. Is that a giant brown chop? Hey, it's a good way to start the morning. Catching fish. All right. Okay, guys. Keep them down here in the water. My hands kind of wet and taken care of. All right, dude, hold steady. We'll have you free in about a tenth of a second here, possibly. All right. There we go. First little itty bitty sardine trout, but we'll take it. Later, dude. Well, I guess a good way to start the morning is any trout is better than no trout. Oh, that was awesome. Catching a trout down this far in the creek is pretty good, boys. I mean, it really is. I mean, usually in this stream, at least, this area down here is a bag of wieners, and you don't catch any fish until you get way upstream, but to have you catch something right there like that is pretty sweet. So let's get this thing on underneath the spinner off underneath the spinner. Am I hearing frogs? We might have live bait. Oh man, they're following it like crazy, boys. They are following, but they're not committing, so. I don't know if I have to switch up, maybe. Fish on, boys! Fish on! We got one! Whoa! This guy, I think, is going to throw the hook. Hopefully, he looks kind of small, so... All right, dudes. Let's get this guy off there and get him back on his way. Okay, cool. All right, let me get the line out here a little bit. What's with these little puny ones in the morning? I think they're all, like... I might have to throw on a jumbo spinner here. I don't think it'll matter, but there you go, guys. Peanut Orama. All right, we'll get this little sardine in the creek. You can swim down there with the big boys. <sighs> Later, dude. Later. So. Oh, fish on, boys. Fish on, fish on. I bet you a teeny one. I going after this big. Oh, and I lost them too. All right, well, that was fun. That was a 0 .5. 0 .5. You saw them. I'm not really digging these short shaft hooks. I might have to switch back over to a long one. Go with like a, if you're going at silver now, then I guess silver and short shoes is probably the way to go. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna switch back out and put on a better hook. See you in a minute. Hey, check it out. There's the rooster. He's crowing. It's time to get up. Anyways, I put on a short shoes with a silver blade. I see a nice size silver blade on there. I'm not sure, I think that's a, I think it might be number five. Anyways, we're going to chuck it up in here and we're going to try it out. Oh, that was a terrible cast. An area I actually wanted to start at is up ahead here. It's kind of funny. I wanted to start way up ahead, but I caught fish down this way, so I kept seeing here. Fish on, boys! Oh, look at that guy. He's jumping out of the water. He's trying to blast, but he's coming to me. All right, I guess he's up here on the bank with me. I didn't really want to bring him onto the shore. Maybe if I hold him onto the hook here for two seconds, I can get him in the net. All right, guys, check this dude out. All right. Woohoo, forget him in the water. Check him out, dudes. There he is. 
All right, we'll get them free here real quick. All right. Let me get my sleeves up here. See what we're dealing with with this guy. Where he's got the hook set. Ah, oh, yeah, just perfect. Right there, the corner of his mouth. That should work out really good. Hey, boys, there you go. Check out that brown trout. Pretty dang sweet. Look at him. All right, he's a nice fat chunker. We'll get him back in the creek, get a nice release here. See you later, dude. Just swim off, be nice. Are you gonna be fine? Yes. There he goes. Swimming off into the current. He's swimming slowly out there, but he's swimming out there. There he goes. He caught that cold line and he's good to go. Check it out, man. Look at that cool rock. I find these here once in a while. They almost look like a walnut shell. They're hollow in the inside, like a little cup. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure what it is. Iron, maybe? I'm not really sure, but it's kind of cool looking. Otherwise, I'm going to take it with me and throw it in my pocket. All right, let's move up here. I'll take it slowly. We definitely want to fish the little feeding lane right there ahead of us. I think what I can do is I can just cast up in there real quick. Like maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. Maybe I'll hit it. Seems like I'm pulling it across the corner, so. Let's see if anything chases it at least. Whoa, fish on, boys. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, fish off. Kick butt. I didn't have to touch them. Use a teeny one. Gotta love those little teeny tiny point fives. You don't have to touch them. Yeah, this is a great spot. I guess you can get on some really nice fish in this spot, actually. So, this spot's really deep. Uh, the potential for bigger fish is actually kind of good here. But, I haven't been seeing giant fish lately. I've been seeing smaller fish. Up ahead of me, I'm seeing risers. Or little teeny fish. But I don't think they're anything big. All right, let's just toss it over that way. And run it off the side over here, off these tree branches, and see if something comes after it. But I hope this was the right color. I hope this wasn't a wrong idea, putting this gold on us there. Leaving the chartreuse on. Switch out, if this is not working for me, that's not the color, I need to... Hey, let's get this off here for a second. Ah, oh, getting bugs. Gotta do the vanilla splash. Smell like a birthday cake. Yeah, this spinner's gotta go. It's gotta go fast. All right, so we'll wade back out here again, even though it may not be any good. Um, I didn't get anything the first couple times I shot through here, but it's also using a big gold. I switched out again to that silver and chartreuse with the extended hook. Maybe it's the color it'll do it, I don't know. But that gold wasn't cutting it, try silver. Fish on, boys, fish on. And this is a nice one too. I don't even know if I'll get this guy, I sure hope so. Boy, oh boy, he's huge. No way that's a trout in this stream that big. You kidding me, that's gotta be a northern or a sucker or something. There's no way that's a trout. Dudes, this is gigantic. This is like, this is the trout, dude. It's a brown trout too, it's massive. I can get him in. Wow, guys, this is, this is not gonna work if I can't get this guy. Come on, guys, get over here. Look at the size of this dude. Come on, guy, get back over here. Man, he's got my pole so bent, I can't hardly get him in. Come here, dude. All right, gotta get him in the net. No, he's next to me, though. Oh, no, there he goes again. He's swimming back upstream. He's huge. Dude, this is... Oh, look at the size of this guy. Holy crap, guys, look at that. Look at the size of that brown trout. He is huge. Holy Toledo. Holy Mosquito Rito Beetle. Oh, wow. Hopefully I can get him out of here nice. Look at the size of that brown trout, guys. Oh my God. This is a massive fish. I gotta get him free quickly here. Get that hook out of his mouth and get him back in the water. Yeah, dude, this is a... No, stay free, stay cool. Stay cool, dude. Look at this guy upside down here. Let me get this hook out of his mouth. He doesn't have it in a bad spot. So we can pop him free pretty fast. There we go. All right, guys. I gotta get a quick measurement on this guy. I like balls. Look at the size of this fish, guys. That is a giant brown trout. Look at the size of that guy. Whew, he's huge. All right, we'll get him in the net. Oh, wow. He's massive, dudes. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. Dang it, we might have to take this guy home. Since I'm taking him home, because he's bleeding pretty good there, we're gonna have to uh, take him down here and get everything done. 
All right, well, it didn't work out very well. He ended up getting it in the gills down here. He swallowed that thing so hard. I took it way down in there. I'm doing the measurement of them right now, and I'm actually getting them at, I'm getting about 21 and a half. So hey, he's a nice fat chunker, 21 and a half inches, boys. That's a, that's a nice brown trout, but he's got it in the gill plate. And it's sad and unfortunate that we have to take him home because I really didn't want to take home any fish today. That really kind of puts a damper on what I'm doing right now. Um, I have to go in my bag and see if I actually have anything to actually put them on or a stringer or something. I don't even know if I do. So. <sighs> that stinks. I didn't really want to keep them, but I guess that's what's going to happen. All right, guys, back in two seconds here. There you go, guys. Check it out, man. Here we go. Oh, stay cool. Stay calm. He's still, he's still kicking a little bit, but he, uh, he caught in the gill plate. He's bleeding all over my hands. So I'm going to take him home. We're going to cook him up, chow down on him. Uh, give him thanks for like giving him soft dust. It's really sad that he had a pass, but look at the size of him, man. 21 and a half inches right here. Uh, but yeah, he's not doing so hot. We're going to take him home. Put him on the barbecue. It's a good day in the Driftless. Not a good day for him, but good day for us. Wow, dudes. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. Let's get back in there and catch another one. Woohoo! That was awesome. All right, boys and girls, that was totally crazy. I have no clue how much it weighs. All I know is on my back right now, it feels a lot heavier with that fish in my backpack. And it pretty much filled it to the top. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go up here, cast a couple more times, and then I'm probably gonna get the heck out of here because how do you beat that? One thing that stinks is I didn't want to take it home, but that was an insane fight. Wow, that was, that was really crazy. All right, guys, I don't think anything else is gonna happen here. But I'm still going to try again. I just hope I don't catch another big one like that. I can't get free. Because if I do, I have to go. All right, let's try this again. Fish on, boys. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Come on, dude. All right, got me another one. This one's a smaller one. The cool thing is, we'll get her or him free really fast. Come here, dude. My hands are wet as it can be right now. So you're lucky I can get you free. And, and you barely got it in there, too. So let me pop it out of your little lip real quick. There we go, guys. Little teeny weeny brown. That bigger brown would have ate him. Later, dude. Gotta love the tater tots. Gotta love the tater tots. Fish on, boys, fish on, on, little teeny fish. Come here, sardine fish. All right. Look at that little sardine. Woo little tater tot. All right, tater tot. We'll get you free. Free the tater tot. Look at the tater tot. Oh. Later, tater tot. All right, let's keep moving. Fish on, fish on, oh, fish off. You saw him, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, I'll take it. All right, nothing, let's get moving. Like I say, we, got a, we still gotta haul back to the truck and yeah, we got a little ways to go yet. Fish on already, as soon as it hit the water, a fish hit it. Probably ain't pretty big, but oh yeah, he's a decent one. He's a nice little fish. What is this now, is this a little brown? Just a little brown. Coming down from Brown Town to visit Slayer Mike in Lower Town. All right, dude. Yeah, don't swim away. You're just gonna hurt yourself. Give me a second here and I'll pull you free. And you'll be like free to do whatever you wanna do, I guess. All right, dude, check it out. It's a shark. It's huge. Look at the massive size of that guy. I can barely, I can't believe I actually was able to reel him in. He was so big. It's so steamy that my glasses keep fogging up. How's it going, guys? Thanks for stopping along and hanging out with me today. What an insane day, dude. I caught my new PB. 21 and a half inch brown trout. Boy, he's sitting back there in the cooler, chilling out, getting ready to go home. I'm gonna cook him up. Gonna do the trout dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. 21 and a half inches. That's my new PB for this year so far. I plan on catching you know, much bigger if I can. So that's like not, that's just the start. This is the start of summer. We got a long ways to go and a lot more fish to catch. But again, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for coming along with. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button before you go, please. <sighs> and while you're at it, 
Check out the tips, tricks, and techniques of where I fish in the Driftless. Go, there's a head over here, there's a playlist. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques of places I fish in the Driftless. The fish that I catch, like today, in that big old tank. That's too bad, he swallowed the hook. And I tried to get the hook out, it just started bleeding all over me. So I just kind of like, yeah, coming home, and that could be wasted, we're gonna eat it. So uh, anyways, you know, thanks for tuning in. Again, head, playlist, and I will catch you on the next episode. Wow.